beautiful and we are leaving to Paramaribo, Suriname today. I am traveling with Nadine's mother-in-law and she's currently putting some stuff from her bag to my bag. Look at this, she's bringing rice and cheese. This is freaking hilarious and what is this? What is this? Oh, this is detergent. <laughs> Good morning! Morning everybody! I'm gonna miss her, I'm gonna miss her. I wish you were coming with us. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Next so, time, next time. Yes, for sure. Good morning babies! Oh, my grandma is going back to Suriname. <laughs> Good morning, Ero. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> so we're going to Suriname because the Dutch Customs is sending us to test their travel app, the Reisen app in Dutch. It's only for Dutchies, unfortunately, but it's an app which shows you abroad what kind of souvenirs you can bring back to you which will not get you in trouble with the customs and also how much money you can spend on goods without having to pay tax over those goods so we're going to try that out of course i'm going to check out all the freaking delicious Suriname food and see what i can bring back Muppy. <laughs> and he's so happy. Look at him smiling. <laughs> How can you not be happy when you look at him? <laughs> One thing you have to know about Suriname if you've never heard about the country before or just don't know that much about Suriname is that it's a very very diverse population so it used to be a Dutch colony and they brought Creole people here Indians Chinese people people from Indonesia um, am I missing something no 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 we have the the original Indians that used to live here and you have all these foods because all of these people from different cultures of course brought their home cuisines to Suriname so that's why Suriname kitchen is also very very diverse and uh, it's so freaking delicious it's amongst one of the most delicious cuisines in the world so that's gonna be so much fun and of course if you're from Suriname you know all this the Fernandez factory Fernandez is a super famous Suriname uh, there we go is a soft drink yeah soda we will have it. We have arrived at Auntie D. I'm just gonna call her Auntie D's house. She doesn't want to be on camera, but we've been traveling together, so it's Nadine's mother-in-law. And I'm not gonna give you a house tour either because this is her private space, and I'm just so honored and happy that okay. I'm able to stay here. So I'm just gonna respect her privacy, but maybe you'll see some pieces bits and pieces when I'm filming in the house like I just did. Oh man, I love these little bananas. They really taste different than the big ones. You should try it. Um, Auntie D also arranged the food. So this is Pichel. Um, braised, I think, vegetables with peanut sauce and I'm wondering if these are samosas. Nom 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 nom. And this is how you eat it. So you put the peanut sauce over the veggies and it's so delicious. <laughs> The radio here is awesome. They play Brazilian music, they play Spanish music, they play 
uh, Creole music and as you can hear they also play Bollywood music love it Bollywood. Bollywood it is 8 p.m. I took a really nice cold shower and oh me <laughs> And I'm gonna go to sleep because I was still a little bit jet lagged from San Francisco and this is the first day that I can just go to bed and I don't uh, have to worry about anything. So I'm gonna go to bed early, hopefully get up early and then tomorrow we can explore Suriname. One of the first meals I have is program roti. So let's see if it's as good as people say it is. If you would like to travel along in Suriname, click that subscribe button and if you like this vlog, you can put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.